Today we are talking about some Pokemon cards that are absolutely moving, starting off with this this Pikachu V prize pack series. So these are kind of like very limited cards. The, the cards themselves, like the normal version of this card is not worth like anything practically, but because it has this stamp on here, uh, it's a lot more rare. And the price that you're seeing is pretty crazy. Uh, right now, like up 200% on the past three months. 46% in the past one month, and let's see, I didn't check the year, same, about 200% on the year, so most of this growth is coming recently, but check this out, look at this uh, listing right here, obviously this is not, not going to sell at this price, but uh, somebody has this for sale for $2,400, we'll pull up the uh, most recent sales, excuse me, 225 most recent sale you can see they don't sell a whole lot and there's not that many of them out there so there's only a few listings on tcg player currently i guess that's how rare this card is got me a little curious what are the other prize pack cards going for now, some of these very interesting as well we got the charizard v max right here market price 418 but there are five listings for 750 dollars that is wild like, the basic versions of these cards are so cheap. Uh, the Umbreon right here, same thing. 132 bucks, And then it starts to, like, taper off, but they're still rather expensive cards. And you can see the amount of listings. Five, three, three, none, four, eight listings. So they're, they're pretty rare. And just out of curiosity, I wasn't going to do this in the video, but I kind of want to see what the cheapest one is. Okay. So the cheapest one is you can get Professor's Research for ten cents. Okay, moving on. The Raging Bolt from Temporal Forces up twenty seven point five percent in the last three months. In the last month, it's kinda holding even. It's you know, down a little, two percent. But in the last three months it showed some big growth. It was down to like three dollars and sixty eight cents, and now it's almost six dollars. I pull up the one year chart. You can see it had a big price spike here. It was in the $8, came down. So, um, yeah, so getting some, some good movement there on the Raging Bolt. Next up, we have the Eevee from Brilliant Stars Trainer Gallery. Stunning card. I believe we've we've talked about this card uh, in a few videos in the past. But great looking card in the past month, up 15.9%. Dollar-wise, you know, not, not the biggest move. But it did go from 223 up to 340 in the past three months, it's actually down. So it's come down, and this is a little bit of a rebound back up. So the Eevee from uh, Brilliant Stars. We'll pull up the one month here just to see. Or sorry, one year. The one year chart, whoo, up 70%. That is wild. You could have gotten this for $1.76 at its lowest. So, yeah, some good growth on that. Um, these trainer gallery cards are interesting. And, you know, I, I want to keep my eye on these we've made some trainer gallery videos before i'd like to see where they end up i i know that they're they're fairly common but i do think that there is some room to move on them in the future next up we have this umbreon promo i think i have this card i think i have a few copies of this card uh i believe but 31.3 percent growth in the past three months almost 40 percent in the last month this um we'll pull out to a wider time frame as well Okay, so one year, 150% growth. Now, this is just one of those things where I don't know if you would know that like that this card could actually make these kind of moves. But if you bought, you know, um, 100 cards, you spent 300 bucks, you bought 100 of these copies at 300, you would have whew, made a lot of money if you were able to sell them. Um, and they are selling 84 sold in this two-day window right here so um it's not like one of those weird cards that's not moving it's moving so uh umbreon promo got some big gains right there uh next up look at this now this is something that should have been fairly obvious the pokemon center exclusive promos are they're holding you know some some good demand monetarily and the Mimikyu is just on a bit of a run, up 200% in the past three months, 116% in the past month. Uh, we'll see what it does on the one year. So it's only 97 on the one year because it came out the gate right here, 
popped up to seven, came all the way down. You could have got a bunch of these cards for four dollars, and now they're going for fourteen. And unfortunately, I think these are going to keep going. Uh, it's just kind of what happens with the exclusivity of the stamped cards. They're kind of like first edition cards from back in the day, kind of, but not really. They're a little different, but they have the stamp on them that makes them more rare. I mean, we've seen that prize pack series stamp earlier in the video. Huge move. So limited print run cards do well. I mean, I think that's safe to say. And it just took the... It took the Mimikyu a while, but it's starting to do it. It's doing some big moves. So uh, we'll see where this card ends up. It's very interesting. Now, we touched on this card uh, in last week's video, I believe. just wanted to touch on it again because it's still kind of moving. Um, I was able to pick up a copy on eBay. It's not a PSA 10 copy. It's probably like a, it's like a PSA 9, I would say. It's a tiny bit of whitening on the back. Um, card looks clean, though, for the most part. And I was able to pick it up for like... I think it was like 15 bucks. So uh, it was an auction. So one, I'm pretty happy about that. Um, but in the past month, it's still up 22.8%. Three months, 34%. One year, 62%. You could have gotten this card in the 30s all day long a year ago. Um, but yeah, Legendary Treasures Radiant Collection Mew. Stunning card. Um, there's good copies out there on eBay to be picked up. I had to pick it up after we touched on that in the other video. Now we're going to get into some 151. The Venusaur, on the one month, you know, it's getting a little bit more movement again. Up almost 7%. There's not a ton of 151 on this list, but there's a few cards, so I just wanted to touch on those. Three months, up 10%. Six months, up 24%. And the one year, up 13%. So, that means we are, mm, see, it's one year high is 47 and it is so close to getting up back up to 47. Uh, I talked about this before, like, where are these cards going to go, especially once they crack their one-year high? I don't know. I don't know. It's interesting. It's just something I'm watching. 151 is just a unique beast. We got some more 151 here as well. We got the Blastoise on a bit of a run up here, up 17% in the three-month chart, 6.7 on the one-month chart. We'll pull out to the one-year because I like to compare, like I said, all-time high 56, we're at 55. So once again, right there on the all-time high for the Blastoise. What's going to happen? We don't know. Time will tell. We've got some other lesser 151 cards that are moving. This Charizard EX, you know, if you're master setting, you need it, right? Uh, up 40% on the last month. Could have had this at 329 a month ago. And dollar-wise, not the biggest move, but percent-wise, pretty big. On the three-month chart... 24%, six month chart, 32%, and one month is actually down. So I think that, I think that is a playability thing. Um, getting into the TCG a little bit, right? Uh, so I don't, I, I'm not positive, but I think the Charizard EX deck is playable or was, I, I don't know. Let, let me know. I'm working on it. I'm playing the, the TCG live, so I need to play more, but I'm kind of getting into it. Then we have the Mew. Um, look at this, man. 51% on the three-month chart. 35% in the last month alone. 4.48 up to six dollars. So seen some big moves on this Mew. Six-month chart, 44%. <clears throat> One year, it's actually down again. It was over ten dollars, almost eleven. So and it's bottomed out right here at like three bucks. So. It's on a big bounce, the Mew EX from 151. Interesting there. Um, next up, we will uh, touch on, just real quickly, some Stellar Crown stuff. Just just wanted to throw it in there just because I'm kind of monitoring it. And we're starting off with the Terrapagos. I would like to see, personally, well, okay, I don't have this card yet. I'm going to, I have to have it, personally, so <clears throat> I kind of want to... I, I want to see this card hold some value. I just like to see the set have a hundred dollar card, and it's fighting for its hundred dollars right here, right? It's run down from one fifty all the way down to one twelve, but then it's bouncing back up to one fifteen. So that is a little interesting. We'll check out the most recent sales. Recent sales we got one twelve, one thirteen, one ten. So and even one twenty was the highest, and this had a photo with it. So that's what the Terrapagos is doing. I don't have this card, so like. 
if I buy it in a single, you know, I'd like the, the card price to come down. But I kind of want, you know, I kind of want it to hold strong. I know that there's um, playability uh, on a lot of cards from this set. So I don't know if that's going to hold it up forever, or like until something else happens. I don't know. Uh, but I think it's a great looking card. I think the set's good enough, personally. So uh, we'll take a look at the booster boxes real quick as well. And maybe uh, a few of the other singles, I'll pull those up. But um, probably the one month here. Well, let's see. First sales, we're back here at 130. Dipped down to like 106, and then it hit a low right here of 105. And the boxes are kind of bouncing back up a little bit. And had a lot of sales. Um, we'll pull up the one month here. Right here at this little dip at 105. Back up to 109, and they're kind of bouncing around that spot. The listed median price, this is something that I try and take a look at. It doesn't necessarily mean anything, but I do sometimes think it's relative that there. this is the average price, 124. So if a, peop come, uh, a bunch of sellers don't come on here and dump a bunch of listings, we should, in theory, continue to see this box rise up into the $120 range. That would be very interesting, really. Uh, if this box cracks into the 120s, it, it's possible. You just have to, you guys have to understand that the Pokemon market is kind of crazy right now, and a set doesn't necessarily need to have crazy Pokemon to be valuable. If you don't like the Tropagos or whatever, a lot of these cards are introducing new playability to the TCG. And what you guys also have to understand, too, is we're coming off of. Um, what was it? Shrouded Fable. It's kind of like a lackluster, weak release. They botched it with the whole ETB thing. It was like a whole thing, right? So then we're getting this. People are going to go hard on this. And we don't... This is what we have till... Um, I think it's like November-ish. It's in November, for sure, for surging. So... Right? It's It was Twilight. This was like... This is the first mainline since Twilight. So you just have to keep that in mind. Um, yeah, the market's kind of crazy right now. I don't know. We'll see where it can go. I think it's gonna be it's gonna be a good set. Not not great or amazing. I think it's gonna be good. I'll take a look at some of the other singles real quick, just to kind of end this off. Just wanted to put this at the end. Um, if you guys aren't interested, you can feel free to move on. Um, but we will pull up some of these cards here. One, two, three, four. We'll just take a look at all these real quick starting with the lacy go to near mint here now this is typically what you see um after release people were buying this in the hundreds a lot of people bought it at 62 and it came down now 48 bounced back up to 50 so that is what the lacy special illustration rare is doing we have the squirtle which i do not have yet i have the bulbasaur and then i pulled uh this card see a lot of people buying right here on the dip it went down to 38 and now it's running back up to in the 40s so this is where we kind of have to keep an eye on we don't know this squirtle could go a little crazy we don't know so keeping that squirtle on my list there now this is another card that i did not care about at all until i started looking at it more and i kind of like it and i want this sir personally go back to the one month here so it's on a pretty steady decline here uh we'll see kind of where this bottoms out I don't mind personally like I'll pick up an SIR for cheap and yeah like that's fine with me but uh maybe it's bouncing back a little last sale at like 34 so I don't know it might be leveling out we'll see but once again it's a little too early to tell but we're just kind of taking a look right there's nothing wrong with looking keeping an eye on the market um the Bulby pulled this which is super fun tons of sales at 30 bucks and it's kind of holding steady at around 30 so It'll be interesting to see where this can go. Um, $30 card for this. I could see it. I could see it. Then we have the Galvantula. This SIR, which is a very cool card. Just rainbow borders are sick, honestly. That's just my opinion. If you guys don't like them, whatever. That's on you. No big deal. You guys, we don't always have to all like the same cards, right? Um, but from 50 down to 30, and it looks like it might be leveling out. Too early to tell. Once again, we got to give the set a little bit more time to cook. Hasn't even been technically out a full week yet. So yeah, that's the Galvantula. We'll see 
recent sales yeah might tough to tell might be dropping below 30. then we have the briar uh sir trainer we pulled this card out of our booster box that we opened um and it bottomed out around 27 and it's coming back up to around 28 most recent sales around 29 so this card could be rebounding this is um an interesting card playability wise um very specific time you can use it so interesting there then we have the dash bun i've talked about this card i'm gonna give it some more time to shine okay artwork wise scarlet and violet era is absolutely killing it I'm not the biggest fan of this pokemon personally but i absolutely love this card and check it out check out what it's doing we've got tons tons of sales at the 23 dollar range and now it's moving back up into the 25 dollar range so it's nice to see this card has dipped and is rebounding where it's going to end up we don't know but we also have some sales around 30 dollars so we could see the dash bun moving its way back up so very interesting um so that is sort of going to do it for this one if you guys are this far in the video obviously you enjoyed the content so do yourself a favor hit the subscribe button and leave me a comment let me know uh, what you guys think about um some of these cards that we covered let me know if you have any what you're chasing um but yeah that we just kind of covered cards that are moving and then i wanted to do a little stellar crown like look in at the end um yeah because i am interested in seeing what happens with stellar crown so yeah i think that is going to do it for this one guys um daily pokemon videos every single day um next week things might get shaken up a little um i will be heading to japan uh and hopefully making some videos while i'm there i'm gonna bring a laptop and hopefully try and keep my daily upload schedule but there's a chance that might miss a little so uh don't don't uh don't get too frustrated with me it's because i'm in japan on a vacation so hopefully some Japan content, and probably you'll see me in a hotel room doing some of my normal videos. Um, so we will see where that ends up. Bear with me. Um, that is happening soon. I will be hunting for... Oh, man. Uh, I've said this before, but the CD promo Charizard, I cannot leave the country and come back home unless I have that card in my possession. That is my requirement. Um, I am open to getting it in a PSA 10 or a clean copy. It has to be clean. It can't. It doesn't have to be perfect. Like I could be okay with like a nine quality uh, raw copy. It just depends. Um, but sealed product. Um, I'm definitely going to be picking up. Um, I don't know if I will be able to pick up any one five one. I'll be open to it. But it'll probably be um, Paradise Dragona. I'll be picking up some because I want to rip some of that. Uh, oh man, there's so much. I'm gonna. It's gonna be a little bit of everything. Vintage, modern, sealed possibly graded we don't know but that is going to do it for this one guys thank you so much for watching i'll catch you in the next one and remember it was never a phase